get a big old leech. I know you're warm, so we're gonna just have you swim for a little bit, okay? Oh, come on. Don't put up a fuss. Come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Come on, Monty. Oh, you're fine, Monty. Oh, good boy. Well, the new season has begun. All right. Right. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back in the boat, and Monty is swimming. I'm taking him to shore because he just needed to cool off. Oh, there's a big tree there, Monty. Over here. Oh, yeah. Feels good to be in the boat. You always got a drip dryer, Monty. Drip dry. Drip dry. There we go. All right, Monty's cooled off. Oh, ah, uh, bugs. I'm so warm. All right, so we are gonna spend the night out here tonight and we're gonna have a fantastic time. I'm not buttoning this up. I'm fine, okay? It's my choice. Um, you're gonna see a little bit of a time warp in the course of time um, because currently, I am doing an essential trip because I need to test out my stuff. Um, I'm going on a week long trip soon and I needed to get out and t just, you know, you can't just, I can't just go out on a week long trip without being in my canoe once. So today's trip is a little essential and you know, I want to do this. So tonight we are looking to have a fish dinner. Hopefully trout would be best or some gills. No bobbies, no peters. We want trout. Trout or gills or both. Combination of both would be best. So we're just gonna paddle, we're gonna portage to another lake, we're gonna look for a site, and then we're probably gonna set up and then spend the rest of the night fishing. We have got four and a half hours of light left, so I'd like to be set up within an hour, um, and then just come right back here. We're gonna fish this lake first, and then uh, maybe we'll take a few casts here and there, but I have yet to catch a fish this year, so we need a good first fish. We're gonna be testing out a new camera, see if it works, see if it doesn't work, um, you know, try some new angles for the for the upcoming season, and then also we are not going to need to prepare firewood today because it is too dry for fires. And uh, yeah, just no fire. We're just going to cook over a stove tonight, which will be fine. But we're hoping for a fish dinner. If we don't catch fish, then we are going to be just eating veggies and stuff. So, anyways, let's get to the next lake. Let's set up a spot. Maybe we'll take a few casts there, maybe we won't. I probably will take a few casts, I'm gonna be honest. But anyways, yeah, let's do it.
Okay, gotta try a few casts. Had a bite. Oh, trout jump right out there. Oh. oh. There we go. Bass. First fish of the year. Was not what I was expecting to catch, but hey, I'll take it. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Oh yeah. <sighs> Look at that beautiful thing. That right there is dinner. That is a beautiful brook trout. Oh yeah. Oh man. That. It's just like perfect eating. Look at this. I gotta, I gotta go kung fu grip. Yes. <laughs> Second fish of the year. Awesome. Now we can just spend the rest of the day fishing for fun. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. That's enough for me and Monty. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, just find a campsite and set up and then uh, go back to the other lake and just fish. We're gonna keep this thing with us because I've had fish stolen from me before. You know, it's not gonna last the whole day, but uh, yeah, I wanna go catch all sorts of fish. I just have yet to fish, but I just saw another fish surface. So I have to take a cast. Oh, it feels good. Oh, there's another trout. Oh. I'm so pumped. It's such a beautiful fish. I can't even tell you the amount of bliss I feel right now. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. <laughs> All right, I have to. I have to take another cast. I just have to. Monty's squeaking. All right. <laughs> oh. So. That is awesome. I'm super pumped. Monty, we're eating fish tonight. So there's not a lot to choose from as far as spots. It's like thick, fresh beach trees. So that we're just gonna tuck into this little nook right here. Um, I'm just gonna set up quick because this is a fishing trip. I wanna go catch more fish. So, yeah, we don't need a fire. We don't need to collect any firewood, none of that. I am just gonna throw the tent up. Throw my crap in there, and then we are going to get back to fishing. The black flies are really rough right now. Doesn't seem like mosquitoes are out, but the black flies sure are. Oh, it feels so good to catch a nice fish right off the bat because now I can just go catch and release the rest of the day. And I've got four hours of light, and we're gonna probably fish on here at sunset until it's dark and catch so many fish. I need to make up for lost time. Ooh. So when I'm fishing, I'm gonna be 
I want you to know right now, I'm going to be a little reserved in my voice and talking because there are other people here right now. So when I'm fishing on this lake and camping, I'm going to be quiet. I don't like to bother other people. So no Monty fighting, none of that stuff. I'll just like, you know, I guess I'll pull it slide this time, this time. I want to hear sounds of spring tonight. I want to hear owls. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just like, I'm like, just so happy. Oh, the black flies are rough. Okay. So just down. Tight spot, Monty. We got a tight spot. Okay, I need the black fly dance. See, black flies, they go away at night. They're out in the day, but at night time they go away. So, while they're annoying, they're not terrible. So um, I'm not sure, you know, like I said, when this video is going to be released and when all the videos that are coming out in the next few weeks are going to be kind of just like juggled around their, their times that they're released and stuff. I'll probably update, you know, as we go on. Some of these are going to be released while I'm out in the woods on my extended trip and, uh, you know, so I won't be responding to comments quick and stuff like that. So uh, I might talk about things that get repeated. So what I need to say is, you're gonna see a whole lot of me setting up a tent, so I'm just gonna cut this part short. We're gonna get back to the fishing, because this, this trip is less about the adventure today, even though it is, it's more about the fishing. So I'm gonna finish setting up, throw all my crap in here, and then we're gonna go take another quick peek at that fish that I just got for dinner. I want to get a nice, a nice shot of it on this camera. Look at this beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, that, that is a beautiful fish. Look at this fish, Monty. What do you think, huh? Oh yeah, that's just wonderful. <laughs> All right. Okay, we are getting eaten alive by black flies. I'm gonna put this back on the stringer. It is time to get back in that water, but just look at the colors on this thing. One more time. Just beautiful fish. Just a beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Okay, let's get on. Let's get on the water. Get back to fishing. The black flies are swarming. <sighs> Holy crap. Oh <gasps> they're brutal. They are brutal. <sighs> okay, we're just gonna paddle across this lake portage. Get fishing on the other lake. The black flies are insane right now. I knew this would be the case, so it's okay. We're just gonna get out, oh, there's the breeze, okay. We're just gonna get out away a little ways in the breeze and just relax for a minute. Give Monty a little break, get him away from the boat. And then we're gonna start fishing. So, got our fish for dinner, and now it is time to just fish for fun for at least maybe two hours. So what I'm, the new camera that I've been talking about, or that I mentioned, is going to be a challenge, I believe, because it's this huge monstrosity right here on the fishing line. Yeah, it's like a fishing line camera. Um, I've never used one before. This is gonna be my first try. I only recorded a couple clips, and I'm gonna try casting with it. It is heavy. So I have no idea how well it's gonna work. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to feel fish biting. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to cast it, to be honest. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try to get w at least one fish with it. If it's not a problem, you know, we'll get multiple fish with it. But if it happens to be a big issue, no fish with it. But basically, I know it'll work better trolling. 
but I don't like to troll in places when I know I can cast for fish. I like to, I only troll when I know I need to troll to catch fish. Oh God, the black flies. So we're gonna turn this thing on here. First, we're gonna do a little, I need to do a tester cast with it. Hopefully I don't catch a fish on the first cast. I just need to see how it feels. <laughs> it makes a big splash. <laughs> it's gonna be fun getting snags with this thing. Okay, so it works. It works all right. Okay, so basically what I've got here is 20 pound braid and it ties to the camera. Then I've got a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader and a steel leader so that if it gets snagged it'll most likely get snagged you know from the hook and I, I you know I'm not gonna ream on it if it gets snagged but it'll snap my leader before I lose the camera that's at least the uh, theory so now we are going to fish I'm gonna turn around here we are gonna turn this thing on. I don't know how, how much battery life it's got. Like I said, this is a tester trip for an upcoming extended trip. So I need to test things out. I need to test this camera out, see if it's worth bringing. I definitely would love to catch a fish on it. There we go, right into the wind. Bye bye, black flies. Oh, this feels good. Yeah, maybe I don't feel like fighting this wind with this camera and trying casting this. I'm just gonna go to the spot where I, yeah, yeah. I've decided we're gonna go straight to this wind and then uh, cast some fish on that shore where I don't have to deal with the wind. Hopefully the black flies won't find me, but I usually have better luck over there anyways. So the first thing I'm noticing about the camera that I do not like, first, first impressions are the weight on the pole when I'm portaging and in the boat even. Like right now, the tip of my rod is just going like this and it's just banging against the boat. Um, that's a little annoying, but especially on the portages when I uh, uh, carry in all my poles because I always do two portages whenever I portage. I do the first portage with my bag, with all my gear, the two oars, the fishing poles, the net, life vest and all the other junk that's just laying about. And uh, with this thing, it's like making the line swag and the poles tip swing and bounce. Um, so it's getting caught on trees a lot, which is quite annoying. So that's the first downside. Not a crazy huge downside. It does its job of getting me a, if this thing gets me one epic shot of a fish, getting it, it'll be worth it to me. That's all I need is one. One successful. For it, I lose it or something crazy. Knock on wood. But yeah, like I said also that there's other people over there on that other lake. Um, so I'm loud and proud out here. Be my full self. And then you're gonna you're gonna hear a toned down reserve Matthew when we get back to the other lake and we're fishing. You'll get to see the excitement in my face because I know for a fact I can't say fact, but I can because I know I'm gonna catch more fish on the other lake. But I wanna catch some nice bass over here. And one other thing before I stop blabbing, um, that lake back there, I caught a bass. You saw that, that little bass was my first fish of the year. There never used to be bass in that lake. And um, if you've been watching my channel a long time, I have a video that's like um, something unusual catch in a trout lake. Well, that used to be a trout lake as well that had bass come into it, and now there is no trout. It's just thousands of tiny little bass, and I fear that it's gonna happen to this lake. I don't know who put bass in there for what reason, but it used to be only trout. Now that there's bass in there, and I've never caught a bass like that, maybe I have. I've seen them over the past few years, but Man, I will be so bummed if the bass take over that lake because I've fished that lake for years. I've loved that lake. And it's just a bummer when things happen. Things change like that. Why can't that one not change?
See that thing bouncing around? Oh man, that's gonna get take some getting used to. There could be some fish here, so let's let's start this thing up. So the other thing, in order to turn this thing on and off, you have to undo this waterproof cap here. Turn it on. Then hit record. Now it's recording. Okay, now it's on. Now I don't want to dink around too much because like I said, I'm recording in its highest setting. I don't think it's gonna have tons of battery life. So, let's do some casting. All right, how many casts until I get a snag, you guys think, huh? I'm gonna guess five. Look at that splash. <laughs> it's gonna scare the crap out of any fish. It's definitely keeping my lure from sinking which is not the most ideal thing. I can see it like there's little fins on it that keep it surfing. Man, it is awkward to cast. I know a pike won't mind the splash. Probably not a big bass, but Flashes so much. <laughs> oh, I can see why trolling is going to be much better with this thing. <laughs> so we're going to give this like 30 casts. And if I don't catch a fish because of the splash, we're just going to go just fish normally. <laughs> Our first snag. The lure snagged branch had it had it going down too low so another thing I'm noticing is I might need to troll with this with a aggressive deep diver because using this jig I can see it it's just floating near the top the fins on it are just pulling it right up so it's just barely below the surface. It's not getting down at all. And I've got the line a little ways back. So that's not perfectly ideal. <sighs> okay. Yeah, see, we're learning. The black flies instantly come back out when you get out of the wind. That's, that's very enjoyable. Monty, what do you think about the black flies? I don't catch a fish in the next 10 casts. It's gotta be because of the big old splash. The swans, or geese? Swans. Black trumpeter swans. Stop looking at me, swan. Black flies. I forgot how enjoyable they were. Just pure joy. Just love them. But Joey's got to remember you can't have the epic fishing this time of year without the nasty black flies. That was the final cast. If I don't get one on this one, we're just going to start trolling. Cause I know I would have had a bite already. And I can't just sit here and not catch fish. I want to take it just a couple of normal casts. The normal fishing pole. Oh, it feels so weird <laughs> compared to casting that thing.
This lure is pretty light. I might need a little heavier lure. This one's only an eighth ounce. knew it was a bite and then I just let it <laughs> stop for a minute and he took it. Oh, it's a bobby bass. Nice bobby bass. Oh, oh come back here. Come here. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Look at that picky. Look at that picky. See, I knew it would do fine with the... Uh... There we go. Beautiful bobby bass. <laughs> I knew that splash was messing it up. All right, let's let, let's let this guy go. Let's let him go. Let him go, let him go. The black flies are their absolute worst, and they just hatch, and the mosquitoes aren't out yet. The fishing is so good. Love it. This is just prime spot, prime time fishing, and I need to be casting. I can't do this. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I gotta cast. I gotta cast. Ooh. That was a nibble. Ooh, I think those are gills. There's only one thing that works. There. How you like me now, black flies? Hmm? not have much luck right now. I'm just getting bit up by black flies. Just. Ooh. Is that? Yeah, these black flies, they are relentless right now. That is for certain. Much luck. Jeez, I just scared the crap out of a ton. Scared me. Made me jump. I 
So as I was saying before, I was really interrupted by getting jump scared by the fish. I think we're just going to head back to the other spot where I had the couple bite, or I had the one bass. And uh, work our way back. Because this, this spot doesn't seem to be doing as well as I had hoped. And the black flies are insane. Try out a new little tool that I just got. A little chest attachment for the GoPro. Oh, the black flies are getting me right now. So yeah, the bugs are pretty rough right now, but uh, we've still got hour and 20 minutes till the sun starts setting. Um, so we're going to make our way back. I'm going to try to get into the breeze here for me and Monty to get some of these bugs away, but there's really no breeze. So it's going to be a little rougher tonight. Uh, we're fishing for these trout, but yeah, we're not having crazy amounts of luck. I'm not fishing too hard, but the bugs are driving me nuts. You know, this is my first taste of bugs the entire year. You know, I did that last week's video. Um, there was a few, but it was not like this. And it always takes a, a good trip of dealing with bugs to remember um, how rough they are, you know? And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get back to the other lake. We're gonna head back to camp. I'm gonna grab a hoodie and put a hoodie on so they can't get in my arms and they can't get around my face. And then um, I brought a couple beers, so we're gonna grab a beer. And then we're gonna fish the rest of the night over there. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see these things. Let's just, let's just, we're just gonna sit still and just. Oh, yeah, you always forget. How bad they are until you know you're back out here. I mean, look at poor Monty. We're back in the other lake and uh, got myself a beer. Now, do you see what's on the beer? A brook trout. What are we fishing for? Brook trout. It's only fitting. Monty, don't squeak. Thank you. 
I'm very surprised that I haven't got a bite yet. There's nothing surfacing like crazy. Normally this time of year, there's one surfacing. I'm not saying I'm not gonna catch anything, but it's too early, I think. I think it's definitely too early. The black flies are out, but the, the water temps must just be a degree or two too cold. I think it was two years ago. I'll link the video up here, but two years ago, I was doing the same thing, same time of year, and they were going nuts. It was like every cast. Well, guess what? I still got my dinner. So that's all that matters. We've got one servicing. Oh, I see him. Yeah, I'm not going to deny it. When I, when I caught that first one and I had another bite right away, I thought it was going to be crazy like it normally is. But other than those bites, nothing. Hmm. I mean, the water is cold. It's pretty cold. And it has been a very cold spring. This is like the first nice day. It was 60 earlier today. This is the first pretty nice day in a while. Now, normally, on a calm night like this, at this time of year, it would just be look like it was raining right now, because the black flies are out, but there is nothing surfacing. It's like, very scarce. And that's just, it must be the water temp is just too cold still, because we've had a very cold spring. That's the only explanation, because, I mean, there's trout in here, obviously, with the one I caught, and they'd be going like crazy. So they just need another week. So maybe when I come back from my other trip, we can come back here. That's what we'll do. And they should be good then. But yeah, there's nothing jumping. Oh, there's one in front of me. We gotta get him.
Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat at the dog park? Do you want a treat at the dog park? You got a treat? You want a treat? Treat? A dirty treat? Good boy. Don't chew that over the side of the boat. You only get one. You know, as much as I'd love to be catching fish after fish right now, I am totally content. This is the first canoe camp of the season. Um, just, I caught, I got dinner. I got a beautiful trout for dinner. Monty's going to get some. I'm going to get some. We caught some bass. You can hear the sounds of spring. Just listen. Yeah. I'm sure we'll hear owls tonight. I'm just, this is my zen. The uh, black flies are taking it away a little bit, but uh, it's not really that big of a deal. They're starting to go away a little bit, starting to get a little chilly. Man, it is crazy how they're not jumping right now. I can't even believe it. You know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? When I come back from my trip with uh, Monty here, our week in the wilderness, we're gonna come right back here. So that'll be like a week and a half from now with Ruger and Funk. And we're gonna see if they're going crazy then, which they should be, and I, I, I know they will be because it's actually supposed to warm up here. So, you know, it's pretty exciting being the first canoe camp of the year. And I may have brought an extra beer. Now I normally don't bring beer for canoe camping uh, for the pretty much the whole summer. I don't really bring beer. It's just more weight. I don't like to bring weight when I canoe camp, but today's special. Today is very special. Close, and you could see his tail came out of the water and his back fin. That was, it was as big, if not bigger than that trout. Dang it. Come on. Do it. Do it surface let the feeding flow through your veins do it the power of the feed side is strong with you yeah like I said those guys are back out fishing so I'm not going to talk much more um I'm going to keep casting till dark, about another half hour, should be pretty dark, and uh, if I catch a fish or have any bites, you'll see footage of it, otherwise I'm just going to cut to uh, getting back to camp, because I'm going to be quiet, I'm not going to talk much, and yeah, it's not much, not much action right now, definitely too cold or so something, something, something. Burp, Monty? Go back to camp. Wanna go back to camp? Okay. Burby boy. We are back at camp. We are chilling. We didn't catch crazy amounts of fish today, but hey, we got fish today. We got Monty. We got a Monty. Oh, that's this is the biggest catch of all. This thing right here. So I'm just filtering up some water with the old gravity filter. Um, 
what I'm going to do is uh, plop my butt down, blow up a couple sleeping pads, relax for a minute, embrace the sounds of spring and nature, and then uh, when I'm done with that, we will prepare dinner. I love, I love that there's no mosquitoes out. And the black flies, they're terrible, but they go away at night. So there's no bugs now. So this is awesome. Mosquitoes, when they come out, they're gonna keep going all night. They don't stop. The mosquitoes actually go away in the hot sun, so they're like the opposite of the black flies. Black flies will come out in the hot sun, mosquitoes kind of taper off. No, 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 no. Okay, don't do that. No, 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 no. No, shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's too loud. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing, Monty? What, are you are you rubbing up against the sleeping pad? Look at it. He's rubbing up against the sleeping pad. Look at this. What a creature. Monty. What I'm going to do is for the mashed taters, I'm going to boil up two cups of water first because I can sit longer. And, uh,. That's gonna go on first, but we need to prepare some stuff. So of course, first and foremost is the white onion. The best onion. This is my personal favorite. We've got a red bell pepper. Oops. Love me some red bell pepper. I'm just gonna eat a big chunk of this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Red bell peppers are my favorites. that end of the pot. Cut the second piece. Take another big chunk. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Add this into the pot. And then we've got some asparagus. Now we're going to take the big chunky ends, cut that up, and this is all going to go in the pot. I already took off the, uh, the really thick purpley ends. Alright, that's going in the pot. Then we've got an onion, or a lemon. This is going to get zested on the end, or just juiced on at the end. And also, an avocado. I love avocado. So we're gonna take this. And I'm just gonna get it ready. Get that seed out. And just get some gentle slices. for later. Monty's just gonna get some fish and pretty much let's just start cooking. Let's just start cooking. Put some fuel in there. Light it up. There we go. And then we're gonna put up the wind protection. First pot, we need a 
little over two cups because we need Monty to get some water for his food too. Okay, now we need to boil this up. The water's boiling. We gotta get Monty's pumpkin and his food ready. Now his fish is gonna be cooked up with ours because I'd have to cook my potatoes, my food, Monty's food, my fish, like that's four different cooks. I don't want to do that. Whoa, that light is messed up. It just goes brighter, dimmer, whatever. So, anyways, we've got Monty's here. That's going to be it for his. I'm going to mix this up fork here. I don't really know if this is the right amount of water, but either way, I eat soupy food all the time. It'll be fine. So we're going to stir that and keep that off to the side. Now we need to get this going. I need a chunk of butter. A nice chunk of butter in there. And I'm going to go fillet my fish, get it ready. Once this is cooked down a little bit, and it's a little bit soft, and uh, I can put the fish in there, and it's not like rigid and like, you know what I mean? It's, uh, yeah, a little softer. We're going to throw our fish in. Okay. All right. Ooh, that's cooking. We're going to add in the rest of our butter. We're going to squeeze in half a lemon. too big. We gotta add it in two pieces. There we go. Now we're gonna add that. We're gonna get all these veggies out of the way so it's on the bottom. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. You need some Montreal. Just a little bit. The inside, that side, inside there, over there. Okay. Now we're cooking. And I think, alright, we just ran out of fuel. So we're going to load up the fuel, get the flame back going. And then we are back to cooking strong. Oh, oh yeah. Are you gonna get a treat? Oh, he's licking his lips. He knows. He knows he's getting that fish. Yeah. Yeah, you lick that lips. Go ahead. You know what's coming. Yeah. He's been such a good boy. Yeah. He knows. Look at him. He knows. He knows every time he's a good boy, sits in the canoe, hangs out, and I'm catching fish. And he gets the benefits. Okay. Now let's just give it a little flip. Oh my gosh. Oh, the veggies. Oh. Oop, we lost a little piece of onion. Let's flip this. man oh, the veggies are gonna cook up perfectly oh, man. Let's see if we can pull this out yet oh look at that this side's cooked 
just came right out. When the fins fall out, it's cooked perfectly. We just need, the biggest chunk of meat is right here along the spine. So once that's cooked, oh my gosh. We can just pull the spine right out. looks pretty good okay now we need to see if we can get all the fins out if all the fins come out and the spine comes out it's done Ooh. put these off to the side here it's the last piece See, it's a little bit raw. That's gonna cook a little bit longer. We're almost there. The spine doesn't come out right away. Everything else does. Oh, it's hot. Oh, look at that. Oh, clean. Oh man, okay. Okay, it's all done. Now we're just gonna plate this all up and feast. Oh yeah. Let's take Monty's here. He is gonna get a nice serving of fish. I need to make sure that he doesn't get any bones. He's a good boy. He can't get too much fish because then we get less. So he's getting a good chunk of fish. That is that's gonna do it for Monty. Oh, we'll give him a little bit more because he's such a good boy. We're gonna give him some potatoes too. Gonna get a little potatoes in this heaping bowl, and then we're gonna put the rest of the potatoes in ours. We've got to sprinkle a little fresh lemon juice over ours. Monty doesn't prefer lemon juice, so he doesn't get any. Oh yeah! And then one last step. And that is fresh avocado slices. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gotta have that fresh avocado when you're having seafood and fish. Oh yeah. Okay, it's time to feast. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Hold up. Have you been a good boy? Do you want your treat? Do you want it? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, this is going to be so good. Fresh trout. Oh, I need a little bite of avocado.
so hot. This is so delicious and filling. Monty's even taken a while to eat his. Well, we're going to keep feasting over here. And then I'm going to clean up everything and we're going to crawl in that tent for the first time of the year and get ready for bed. So I'll check back in with you guys when we're hopping in the tent and getting ready for sleepy time. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Go ahead, lay down, Monty. Choose your location. Choose wisely. Go ahead. You can choose. It's up to you. Go ahead, Monty. Lay down. Yeah. It's your, it's your shelter. It's yours. You get to decide who gets what space. You're going to divvy up the space. Okay, Monty? Go ahead, Monty. Divvy up the space. Come on. Go ahead. I'm coming in. If you don't choose, I will. Go ahead, Monty. Lay down. Divvy up the space. Go ahead. Lay down. Divvy down. Okay, you want the small pad, that's fine with me. You want the small pad, huh? You want the small pad? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Well, that was a deliciously successful day and meal. Um... This is Monty's pad. This is supposed to be for him, but he has chosen my pad. This is what he's chosen. If you try to get in the way of a Monty, bad things can happen. So you give him what he wants, you shut up, and you deal with it. That's what I've learned. That's how I survive. I'm going to stick to my side that Monty has chosen for me, and I'm going to crawl my sleeping bag and pass out till the morning. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Don't mess with Monty. get a long day so we're gonna get up pack up no coffee no oatmeal and we gotta get skadoodling right Monty yeah it's so peaceful how do we leave when it's so peaceful
and make a poop. The bounty has spoken. Okay, let's get up, bounty. Let's do it. It was caught in a tree. That's a beautiful brook trout. Always wet your hand before you touch a trout. Look at that All right, beautiful. Another beautiful trout, we're gonna let him go.
loopers. Not that little perch. See ya. Every perch is bigger than one before. Look at that thing. That's a good size perch. <clears throat> I was staying out here again. I'd feed that to Monty. I've got to get going. I get sucked into fishing. I could do this all day. Maybe just like five more casts. How does one stop fishing when the fish are biting? I do not know. Can you avoid in the water? Yeah. Okay. Just like, just like five casts, okay? Real quick, real quick. Just in case there's a log that I want to snag, just in case, you know. I don't think I could have done the date. I didn't snag this log real quick. It's just, you're always gonna start your day off with a nice snag. Get moving. There we go. Oh, what did I? All right, one last cast. One last cast. One, one last, last cast. That one didn't, that one, there, there was something not right about it. I, I didn't like the part where it didn't catch me a fish. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that was a fun little overnighter. Caught my first fish of the year. We got a little Bobby Jr. as the first fish. Last year it was a, uh, did I catch a, technically in 2019, I think the first fish was a coho from Lake Superior. I think so. I'd have to double check. I'd have to fact check that. It was either that or a sucker. Sucker was the first spring fish. Suckers with the parents. We didn't get to do that this year, but hey, we got a little bobby. We caught. Let's see, I had one trout yesterday. That big, beautiful trout that we feasted on. Betty Brook trout. Betty Brookie. Maybe that's what we'll call it. Larry the Lake Trout, Bobby Bass, Peter Pike, Walter Walleye. We're gonna call him Gilbert Gills, Betty Brookie. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, one yesterday we had a couple other bites, and then uh, a couple other bass, a couple other bobbies, and then.
then today we caught two trout and like four perch. What are perch? Petunia perch. Petunia. <laughs> oh, all right. So yeah, we got uh, we got to test out all our gear. Um, that camera. So I'm thinking with that camera that records the the lure, I'm gonna get like one good troll session per charge. And on a week long trip to lug that thing around for one good troll session, totally worth it, totally worth it. So I'm gonna definitely do that. I'll probably bring a battery pack to charge it up uh, once so we'll get two troll sessions. So I'm just gonna save it for a lake that's like really good and I probably won't attach it to my line until I'm ready to troll. Um, so yeah. We'll save that for a good troll session. Hopefully we pick something up with it because that'd look really cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, other than that, we got the chesty thingy that we're gonna be using a little bit. It was nice to do on uh, you know, a little paddling. But uh, yeah, we've got a long day like I said. I've gotta drive home. I've got stuff to do, things to do, stuff, things. So, we're gonna get heading back to the car now. So as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys at the next video, eh? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I'm just kidding, there's nothing there, it's just wilderness. Just like five or six more last casts real quick. Just just in case.